So what the MRI quantitative data showed was that after gene ex uh, expression, after gene infusion, then expression, then persistence of virus at certain times, the, um, the muscle really was robust. It looked almost normal by MRI. And uh, I think that was not only confirmatory, but reassuring to the scientific community that, um, that we had another marker that showed that we could accomplish what we had hoped. And they also presented um, the MRI uh, findings for, for, these, for these patients to uh, reveal that that did um, have a, benef a benefit on the uh, percent fat fraction that to us that correlates with um, the progression of the disorder. So I think that that was really um, a great data that came out um, for the early phase trials that has um, gotten us over excited for a potential new therapy um, in the near future. For the MRI um, fat fraction studies, um, we have data now that show that um, the loss of emulation or uh, it's associated like uh, with 40% fat um, and uh, they now have uh, natural history data uh, for the younger kids to know, you know, what's the percent uh, fat fraction. So uh, if it's like 10%, I think for these younger ones that we saw in, in this study uh, group of uh, subjects, um, they, the, their percent fat fraction uh, was uh, less than that compared to the controls. So it is um, another uh, biomarker that could be used to track um, the progression or the the lack of progression if it's an effective therapy. And so um, this is exciting because it's non-invasive and it's easily acquired.